Hello, in this video I will show you how to replace Shimano bearings inside a press fit bottom bracket. Shimano uses 6805 bearings inside it, but they are 6 mm wide instead of 7 mm, which you can buy from FAG, SKF, or some other premium manufacturer. So I will use these bearings manufacturer is FAG they are made in Japan in this case and as mentioned problem with it it's one millimeter wider than the original part inside of this press fit bottom bracket so first you have to remove the outer seals Just use flat screwdriver and pull the plastic part out of it. Underneath that part you have rubber seal outside of a bearing and you have to remove that one. So this is the bearing. To remove the bearing from this plastic shell I need this metal ring. In this case it's 27 millimeter one. I have to put it inside first behind the bearing. like this. Now when the ring is inside I will put this metal washer in this case 24.7 millimeters. I'll put it here then I will put everything inside of this plastic pipe piece like this Then M8 screw with another washer, slightly smaller, and one big on the other side. Make sure everything is centered. And now you can start pulling the bearing out. I will use two 30 millimeter wrenches and start turning it. And that's it. This is plastic shell and here you have bearing. With this ring on it. Here it is. This is Shimano bearing. It's 37 millimeters wide, 25 millimeters wide inside and 6 millimeter thick. On one side it doesn't have seals because we removed it before and on the other side 
there is normal seal on which it says that manufacturer is Sunhill. Instead of this one, I will use FAG bearing. The diameter is the same, but it's 7 mm thick instead of 6 like this one. So you can see the difference here. Problem with this bearing is that we have to lose one millimeter somewhere at the end while we are assembling everything back together. This is Shimano press with plastic shell. It's made out of glass reinforced PA plastic. So it's very stiff. And now we have to put this FAG bearing standard 6805 bearing inside of it. To put this bearing inside of this plastic shell you need to put it like this then push it inside just slightly then I will use this metal screw with washer that is slightly smaller than 37 millimeters on the on one side and on the other side I will put this big one and the screw then once you have everything aligned you can start pressing the bearing in keep an eye on it to make sure that everything is aligned as you can see it slowly goes in Now I will just lose the tension a little bit, align the washer again, and continue pressing it inside. And that's it. Remove all the parts and as you can see the bearing is inside. So after I finished this one I repeated everything on the other side and now when the two bearings are inside I can show you next problem with this original Shimano part and this lip here. It's made to compensate for 6 mm bearing and the seal in between that. But when you put it on 7 mm bearing, it simply sticks out too much. If you add another one on the other side, you basically get 1.6 or 2 millimeters too much in between the crank arms which then doesn't guarantee that they will sit on its place properly another problem is if you would like to use this part the original Shimano part on 7 millimeter bearing it wouldn't fit because of this lip here this distance is for 6 millimeter bearing only and when you put it 
on 6 mm bearing which we pulled out it fits and it goes over the crank spindle with, without any problems and sits where it needs to be if you put it on 7 mm bearing so if you put it on 7 mm bearing it doesn't sit correctly and you can't push it any further than this so instead of Shimano parts I bought these parts from eBay they are made from quality plastic they're not so soft they're beautifully made without any manufacturing defects but when you put it on a bearing this is six millimeter bearing but seven millimeter it's same inside then you have this problem although they are beautifully made they are crap because you have too much slack on the crankset when you put it if you put Shimano part on the original bearing you see that there is no slack at all and it fits perfectly after that fail I decided to order another set from another seller and these looked differently from the pictures and they are they are not so beautifully made they are made from extremely soft and cheap plastic with some nasty ejection marks you can see how soft they are but when you put them on the bearing they fit much better and they have just a little bit of slack but they don't fall through like the first parts I put links in description which parts to buy and which parts not to buy so one more thing to mention this is original Shimano part and this is eBay part main difference is this one has this piece here because the seal goes here and this one doesn't because I don't need seal it's on a bearing this one fits 7 mm bearing but you can see here that this Shimano part also has 0 0.3 mm more than this one so I had to cut plastic pieces to com compensate for that so that left and right crankset arms would be on the same distance from each other as they be were before this is first spin test after installation And this is a test after a few hundred kilometers.